Okay, so hi everyone, me again, Simone Miller says, yes, author of Joy of Business. Have you read it yet? Did you do the home play from the last video? Mm, probably not. First step, are you trying to prove that you're humanoid by not actually reading the book, listening to it, doing the home play? Aren't you tired of, you know, proving that you're a humanoid rather than just being a humanoid? So everything that that is, times a godzillion, we destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine, shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. Okay, now let's. I'm going to run a few clearings with you because so many of you have a point of view of what business is. Um, for myself, it's like growing up, it's like my dad was a chartered accountant, and you know, every morning I saw him as he was a kid, he'd get his suit on and his tie, and he'd have his briefcase, you know, and go off to work. And he'd, he'd work a lot, he worked like uh, at least six days a week. Um, sometimes six and a half days a week and he would leave early uh, and come home you know he'd leave at like 7 a.m 7 30 and then come home at you know six o'clock at night so for me as a kid growing up I looked at business and work as oh you know you you wear a tie you have this you know the briefcase etc now here's a funny story many years later I learned that what my dad was carrying in his briefcase was his sandwich his piece of fruit and the newspaper now, to me, that briefcase was very important. Well, it was to him. It had his lunch and the newspaper. But if I have this point of view that you have to have a briefcase, then I'm going to slip towards this place of going, business is always corporate. Business is always going to an office, and it's not true. So what definition do you have of business? And everything that that is, times a godzillion, we destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine, shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. What does business mean to you? Now, anything could come up. Like you could go, oh, you know what? It means failure. It means success. It means fun. It means joy. It means money. It means no money. It means time with my kids, no time with my kids. It doesn't matter what comes up if we just run this process because you'll start to get clear on what it is that is holding you back and holding you down. So, truth. What does business mean to you? And everything that that is, and all the emot emotional and literal provides, will you revoke, recant, resent, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate everything that that is? Times a godzillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What do you mean to business? Mm, notice how that's a different energy? You have this point of view of what business means, but what do you mean to business? And everything at that is times a godzillion we destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. Now let's do what does money mean to you? Notice it's a different energy. And everything at that is, and all the literal and emotional provads where you revoke, recant, resend, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate everything at that is times a godzillion. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. Breathe, don't forget to breathe. Now, truth, what do you mean to money? And everything at that is times a godzillion, we destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. So run those questions like over and over again. If you have to, do an audio loop. So truth, because if you use the word truth, it's like this universal law, right? You use the word truth, it's like you will have the clarity. You'll know when you're lying to yourself. And are you done lying to yourself? What if it was, you know, time to give up the lies that you're telling yourself? Learn to lie to others, but don't lie to you. And if you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, about learning to lie to others, maybe you might want to go to a joy business class because that is a form of manipulation. And if you are not willing to be manipulative, then you will be end up being the one that is manipulated. Okay. So everything that that brought up and everywhere that you went, no, that's the reason why I don't do business because I don't want to be manipulative. Well, you manipulate all the time. If you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Friends, you know what I'm talking about. Boyfriends, girlfriends, husband, all of it. You manipulate all the time. Why would you not choose to do that in business? So everything that that brought up, we destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. So one more time. Truth, what does business mean to you? Everything that that is, we destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. 
Truth, what do you mean to business? Everything in that is times a godzillion. We destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, online shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. Truth, what does money mean to you? Everything in that is times a godzillion. We destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. And truth, what do you mean to money? And everything at that is times a godzillion. We destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys, and beyonds. Shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. New clearing statement. You know, you've got to get used to it. Hey, and while I'm on it too, this is the second book that I wrote called Getting Out of Debt Joyfully. Um, if you don't know the story of this, I was uh, about 187,000 Australian dollars in debt when I finally, finally chose to actually look at my financial situation. That's what I realized. And I was like, oh, whoops, that was a bit of an interesting creation. And I chose to use the access consciousness tools in order to change it. And I did change it and I got out of debt. And there's a whole lot of, well, hopefully really fun stories in this book that, that you will receive something from and, uh, and all the tools and processes that I use to actually get out of debt and actually have money. Um, yeah, I didn't always have money and now I have money and I like money and I have a sense of wealth creation now too. So nothing is impossible because I have been there and done that. So to finish off this video, I wanted to also ask you the question, what judgment do you have of you being in business? Mamma mia. Everything at that is times a godzillion where you destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine, shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. Wow. That's so interesting to me that I'm doing these videos and I'm also... This is, you can do this too. Tap into the energy of the future. Every single person like who's, you know, watching this now and later. And when everything that you choose in your business, you can be that too. You be this energy of like, you can ask a question, what future can I be today? So if you ask that question, what future can I be today? Every single day. What future can I be with my business today? And now let's ask the question again. So truth, what judgment do you have of you being in business? And everything at that is times a godzillion when you destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine, shorts, boys, proverbs and beyonds. So what I would like you to get here too is it's the insane points of view that we have that lock us up. Because if we could work everything out with our logical mind, we would have everything we ever desired but it's these insane points of view that lock us up. Like one of the insane points of view I realized I had was my father, who I absolutely adored, he was such a kind, generous, like, man. I mean, I grew up with him saying to me, Simone, this is your life. You need to choose it. I will be here for you, but you need to choose it. And he always empowered me to have choice. Amazing man. And he died quite a few years ago. And one of the insane points of view that I realized was I was creating myself to be in debt because I heard him one day say that he would never die, he would never leave his kids until he knew they were all financially stable. So, I mean, he, you know, escaped during World War II. He has all these different stories. So to him, education and, and money was very important to him. So I realized, insane point of view, I was creating myself to be in debt so that I could keep my father alive. Not the brightest choice, but it's not about judging it. It's about being aware of it. And anything that you are willing to be aware of, you can change. But if you're not willing to be aware of it, you can't change it. That's the way access consciousness tools 